On this episode, we're gonna talk about kung kinahanglan mo ba ihatag ang imuhang kwarta sa imuhang asawa, pagkahuman, unsaon pagmanage sa inyuhang money as a couple. Check this out. Hey guys, Jan here, founder of The Present, and welcome to the very first episode of the Q&A show with The Present. Let's proceed to the first question. So, ang first din ako na gina-consider when it comes to that, no? Because money, to be honest with you guys, is a very sensitive topic for couples. So, labaw na kung married na ka, no? And then, maski na mag-uyab pa mo, no? So, kumbaga, pag-abot sa kwarta, tapos ang question pa is, kinahang lang ba din mo itunol? Or, do you have to give the money to your partner? My personal answer to that is, no. Okay? No. Why is it like that? The very first thing that we have to understand about the relationship is kung unsa atong kailangan, unsa, unsa ang ato ang skill sets, unsa atong competency per person. Kintahay. Ikaw ang lalaki. You're really good in terms of doing your work. Diba? How, taas ka granggo sa imuhang, sa imuhang trabaho. Tapos, you're doing well financially. You are earning a lot of money from the company that you're working with. Diba? You're, you're working for. Tapos, ang imuhang asawa kay maayo siya in terms of paghandle sa, iya, sa finances. Okay? So, what if ang mindset mang good kasagaran, di ba? Ang uban, naghahunahun na sila na dapat ihatag ang kwarta sa lalaki because ang lalaki ang nag-decide. Napoy uban na ginahatag ang kwarta sa babae because what's mine is mine, what's yours is mine. Inana na mga mindset, inana na mga jokes. Okay? But at the end of the day, kung ako imu in, in my perspective, it's really coming from kung kinsa sa inyuhang duha ang mas maayo maghandle og finance sa inyuhang kwarta. Okay? So, eh, kung mas maayo ang lalaki, then ang lalaki ang maghandle sa finances. Kung mas maayo ang babae, then ang babae ang maghandle sa finances. In our case, for example, sa Amona case, competent ming duha in terms of finance, uh, handling our finances, but it's really more on me. Okay? It's really more on me in terms of handling our finances. Because it's a decision that we both made as a couple or as a married couple, di ba? So it's the same thing, di ba? Na akong ma-share sa inyo na dili kinahanglan na itunol ni mo sa imuha asawa. Ang pinakaunang sistema is sabton usa nato kung kinsa sa inyong duha ang mas hawd. And then dera mo mag-decide kung kinsa ang mugunit sa kwarta. Okay? Another thing just to add no is that communication has to happen non-negotiable na siya. Meaning to say, kintahay kung naamoy financial decision, kintahay magpalit mo sa kinan, magpalit mo balay, mag-invest mo ang kondo, mag-invest mo yuta, magpalit mo inani, mag-invest mo stocks or whatever reasons, kinahanglan storyaon na ninyo as a couple. So even if, even if ikaw, no, ikaw ang mas maayo, ikaw ang mas competent in terms of handling finances, it doesn't automatically mean na ikaw lang po ang mag magbuot dayon kung unsa ano yung paggamit sa kwarta because you're not only making a decision for yourself you're also making you're also making a decision for your family so that money has to be kumbaga taken care of okay so what if po no tani po na huna ko what if dili mo magsinamtan ni duha ikaw karon ang mas competent you see you can really see and you have the logical reason that whatever you are going to do with the money is going to work, right? Tapos, ginakontrahan ka sa imuhang partner. So, dara na po maabot ng inyuhang relationship. Dara na po matest ang inyuhang communication kung saan na to na siya sa inanan ng mga levels. So, most of the time, what happens is, kung kinsa dito itong competent, mas masaligan to siya, so the person has to give him trust in terms of making it, making it happen. Okay, so mag-invest siya or gamitin niya ang kwarta sa ina ng butang. Pero kung masipyat po gani, then uh, that's another conversation that you have to have. Okay? So, as a married couple, that's, that's really the thing. You don't, it's not about giving it to your partner immediately. It's more about understanding it first kung kinsa mas maayos sa duha. Sa 
Second question, it's really good, no? Um, how do you manage the money as a couple? Kung baga, connected kayo siya sa first po na ko na-answer. Well, kung mag-manage ka, uh, man- like money as a couple, let's say, for example, nagasugod pa lang po mo sa inyong relationship, mag-uyab pa mo, tinood lang ba? Nindot man dyan, guys, kung samtang uyab pa mo, kanabitang, kanabitang magsinaptanay na po mo sa inyong finances because money, to be honest with you, is something that you cannot really avoid, no? Kasi kung saan natong storya ba eh, kinahang na dyan na kamong duha ay sa si couple, magsinaptanay dyan ta, or magsinaptanay dyan mo, kung saan yung paggamit sa kwarta, regardless of what's gonna happen. Because that's just really, it. that's the reality of life. So, number one, I would say is, be transparent with each other's income. Kintahay, mag-uya pa mo, and then, or kaya married couple na mo. Tapos, mahulog ani kay ikaw na kay income. No? Tapos, siya po, working po siya, na po siya income. So, what's gonna happen is you have to be transparent, both of you, as to how much you are earning as a couple. That's the first step. So, kita hay kinsimil ay muha, tapos ang isa po is nasa kinsimil. So, that's a total of 30,000 pesos every month as a family income. That's number one. The second thing is, you also have to break down your expenses. Okay? So, kung naa kay income, kailangan po na po kay combined expenses. Pila ang gasto sa bana, kung pinapod ang gasto sa asawa. Kung mag pa mo, pila ang gasto sa boyfriend, then pila po ang gasto sa girlfriend. So, kailangan na mag-match na siyang duha. Okay? It's, when I say match na siyang kumbaga, kabalong mo, asa na padulong ang inyong kwarta. Right? So, that's number two. Kung na income, na po expenses. Number three is, kinahanglan po na mag-communicate na po ta. Okay? When I say communicate, okay, hinahan niya itong income, hinahan niya expenses, how do we make this work? So, I cannot really I cannot really make a decision for you. You have to make a decision as a couple. Right? Because it's a sensitive matter again. And just like what they say, a lot of people are are fighting over money. In fact, a lot of people are getting their relationships broken because of money matters, because of money issues. So kanang kinahanglan jud nato na kung ma transparent ka sa imong income transparent po sa imong expenses and communicate dayon and the last part no and the last part is that you have to kamong duha no you really have to learn together diba learn together nga naman na magoy usahay maabot sa punto na naray isa sa inyo ha kintahay na mga seminars na mga na mga conferences, tapos isa lang mag to sa inyo ha. What's gonna happen is your partner will not understand what you are going through or what you learn from the conference or what you learn from the seminar. So, mas nindot mangod kung kamung duha as a couple, kung mag-manage mo si yung kwarta, buapo po kung naapoy mo learn isa, ang ikaw po na apog ka. Then, kung kung di, kung alanganin juga mo sa inyong finances na ang budget niyo is only good for one person, then Find the person kung kinsa ang mas competent sa duha. Okay? So that's really how it is. So, as a couple, those are the things that you can do. Kung boyfriend, girlfriend, kung magbana, uh, mag-uyap, mag-asawa pa ba mo, uh, mo na siyang kailangan buwan. Number one is you have to be transparent with your income. Number two is you have to be transparent with your expenses. Number three is you have to communicate as to what your plan is going to be. Kinsa ba mag-handle sa kwarta? Kung saan yung paggamit sa kwarta? And then if you want to reduce your expenses, then do that. And if you want to increase your income, how are you going to do it? And things like that. And the last part is that you have to learn together. Okay? A couple that learns together will last longer. Po, diba? That's a really good thing about couples going through things together. Dili kay, kung ting panahon sa kalipay na ako, kung ting panahon sa kapait, wala po ko. So, dili na siya inana na mga bati na siya na mindset na buhaton no, as a couple. So, and to be honest with you guys, being kanang kita kanabit sa boyfriend and girlfriend relationship is really a good kumbaga testing ground, right? So mean to say it's a testing ground, mag-away na pud muan, mag naamoy mag-go through na challenges, naamoy mag-go through na kalipay, di ba? So dara pud mo ma-realize kung bagay ba jud mo together. Because to be honest, uh, so for example, sa mona case uh, we have been together for 10 years before we got married and we started the relationship in high school. 
So, high school, transitioning to college, transitioning to like ito, nakatesting naka po network marketing days. We went through it together. And then at the same time, naagi po employment, first employment namo, And then abot po mi og separate employments. So, tapos, you know, doing business together. So, kumbaga, throughout the process ba, you know, throughout the process, the relationship, the couple, no kamung duha, kailangan you have to be there with each other through thick and thin. Okay? So, kana managing the money part is going to be easy when, when both of you have a strong foundation as to how, you're, how you have been together and how, you got, how you're going to live your life as well. Alright? So, yeah, those are very good questions from Tamingan uh, Naputa is about mga couples, no? Yes. So, since moto siya ang pangutana, ay ako na po ang pangutana sa inyo. So, question of the day. In your, own, in your own standards, in your own practice, what are ways for us to manage our money together? Kung baga, kung as a couple, what can we do to, in order for us to manage money better? Okay? So let us know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and tap the notification bell so that every time we have new videos, you will be notified. Thank you and see you on the next episode. Wow.